Hi everyone, this is Lena and I wanted to show you all my outline for my critical assignment, which will look at the similarities and differences between the public and private sector. So I'll most likely start off talking about the birth of government, the Constitution, Bill of Rights, federalism. I'll touch on the roles of government and uh, who can do what, you know, per articles one through three in the Constitution, referring to the separation of powers. I'll follow that up with Wilson's dichotomy and the separation between politics and administration. Um, then I'll touch on some of these other individuals and probably start explaining the difference between a public administrator and a businessman according to Appleby, uh, specifically the mindset of each. Then I can talk about decision making. The process uh, is different, you know, between the two sectors, specifically how solutions are already, you know, available on the public, um, public sector side and looking at the best solution to fit the problem or vice versa, looking at a problem to fit a solution that's you know already had. Uh, I'll touch on the garbage can theory, root branch method of policy making. I'm not really sure if I'm going to uh, format my paper in like a chronological fashion to show how the growth of public administration as a whole, you know, has developed over time or lump my theorists together. Uh, for example, I could pair, you know, Cohen, March and Olson, Riddle and Weber, and Lynn Bloom all in kind of the decision-making process section of the paper. So for sure I'll reference Allison quite a bit uh, since his article focuses on viewing the public and private sectors and looking at the importances and the you know the likes and the differences and different things like that. Um, Outside of right, a lot of these individuals on this last page we haven't quite covered yet, but I, you know, in looking ahead, I do think that they'll be good for my paper. So as for right, I'll touch base on his article about federalism, intergovernmental relations, and intergovernmental management. Uh, when pointing out the main differences in consideration to the heart and the role of government, I do really want to emphasize on, you know, equality, fairness, ethics in government, the fact that government um, is not always efficient due to the regulations that public servants must follow, you know, which of course at that point then I can uh, reference how that differs from Taylor. So I think I have a pretty good game plan and thank you for listening.